73 questions with Vogue. Kidding. <laughs> Hi everybody. This is probably one of my most requested videos ever. And I'm so happy to finally be filming this. I'm gonna be doing a full beauty room tour, which is so exciting. Because I know so many of you guys have been asking for this for years, probably. I, I The last one I filmed was gosh, probably two or three years ago, and that was in our old place, so this is my updated beauty room. Anyway, come on in. Okay, before we get into a full, full tour, I really wanted to mention and just say thank you to you guys because if it weren't for you, I wouldn't be sitting in my literal dream beauty room. So if you are at home, and if you're watching this, like hoping to one day have a career in beauty or a beauty room, whatever that looks like, just know that it's very possible because not that long ago, I was you. Like I was the one looking up beauty room tours and just like dreaming about what that would be like. And so I just wanted to say, first of all, thank you because it's because of you guys and your love, your support, your subscription to my channel, your views, everything that you've done for me for the past however many years, if you've been there from the beginning or if you just found my channel, I'm so thankful for you. Um, and then second of all, if I can do it, you can do it <laughs> because this seemed so unattainable six years ago. It seemed like just something that would be one in a million. Um, and so it's just been so surreal to be able to actually be sitting in a room and doing a tour in a room that I like literally dreamt about. This is actually better than what I dreamt about. And so I wanted to say thank you to you guys and also anything is possible, okay? Truly, you can do anything you put your mind to. And I just love this era of, I don't know, just opportunity. There's so much with social media. There's so many opportunities. There's so many possibilities, you know? You can literally create something out of nothing and it can become your whole world and your dream. So just wanted to make that like little side note disclaimer kind of a thing um, as I show you guys this beauty room that literally is a dream come true. And it's all because of you guys truly. So thank you so much. and. I hope you enjoy seeing the rest of the video. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we start here, which I'm not gonna go too in depth um, on my filming equipment or like what I have on my desk because I'm gonna do a more in depth video where I just talk about this section, all the behind the scenes that goes into my actual videos. But I mean, it's the first thing you see when you come to the room, so here it is. We do have our lights that hang down that we have faced this way so that we can show you the other parts of the beauty room. Um, this is one of my favorite sections. Okay, so against this wall, if you come this way or where, yeah, okay. Town's gonna show you. I really, really love this section. Where do we get this made? I can't remember the, the brand, but Tylen found this company that does these really cool custom, um, like neon looking lights, but they're not actually glass and they don't heat up. The texture's kind of like hot glue. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool and we created this to say create, you can make whatever you want. And I just love it above this velvet couch <laughs> with some pillows, <laughs> I don't know. So this is kind of like where people come and hang out. When my beauty room looks decent, we spend a lot of time in here when people come over, people like to be in here, which I don't know, I think is fun. So it's nice to have a little couch for people to sit or for myself to sit, especially right now. <laughs> 39 weeks pregnant, my friends, which is wild. Okay, so this in here is also, this is kind of like the secret door to Narnia. I will film in here when I get around to decluttering my lipsticks. Didn't happen this time around. Um, I just filmed a bunch of declutters, but I haven't gone through every single category in my beauty room. Lipsticks is gonna be a huge category. So after I have my baby, <laughs> and after the new year starts, you know, this will be a project and I will show you guys the final result of the closet, but it's just not ready yet. So on this half is where I keep my drugstore products. So I actually have displayed some high-end and drugstore on this side because I just like pretty things. So I've got Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks and also like Bare Minerals lipsticks. Over here, there's a little nook with some shelves, which I have put some of my perfumes on, which is kind of nice to display. Um, I really like how this turned out. I recently gutted my whole beauty room and kind of redid it. So 
This used to look way more cluttered, but I really, really like having my perfumes down here. They're just like little jewelry, you know, and I feel like those shelves are perfect for perfume. Here we have some acrylic cases with some of my drugstore palettes and things like that. Just anything pretty that looks, I don't know, like aesthetically pleasing to display. Right here, like I said, is my drugstore collection. If you want to see the drawers that I have organized and decluttered so far, I will have my declutter series down below, um, but there's still quite a few categories to do. Um, I've got like palettes that I still need to go through for uh, my drugstore side. In this section, I keep a lot of my setting sprays and then like extra tools and things. So yeah, once I do like a full declutter of everything, if you want a more in-depth view of my entire collection, I'd be happy to show you, but that'll come later. <laughs> so here is my vanity area. I love my chair. I have actually two of these chairs because I love it so much. One in my office, one down here. And this is like just a classic, what would you call this? Like a Hollywood mirror? <laughs> Glam mirror? I don't know, it's from Impressions Vanity. I feel like it, it makes the beauty room look like a beauty room, you know? Here I have displayed some of my really pretty makeup things. <laughs> my Westman Atelier powders. I just pulled things that like looked really pretty. Some hourglass palettes, my Tom Ford lipsticks. I just like to display the pretty things, <laughs> you know? So, and I've got like some of the hourglass palettes in here, the ones that they launch every holiday. I just, I like to collect those and keep them. That's that. I also have some pens and pencils here because I take a lot of notes before filming. Up here, we have like some glass, um, or what do you call this? Windows, no. What are they called? Windows. What are they called? Uh, doors, little mini doors. I did. Cabinets, yeah. cabinets, glass, window, window cabinets. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> In here, I have displayed my my bag babies. <laughs> so I've got some full bag collections um, in all three colors. We've got a cute little small bag over here. Oh, as I almost trip. Okay, and then we have the classic bags here and a small bag and then just some cute boxes for looks. <laughs> so that's that as well. We're gonna flip sides. <laughs> and on this side, is where I keep my high-end makeup. It's actually mirrored, so like primers are here, like my um, my high-end primers are here, my drugstore primers are here, which is kind of fun, and it, and it just kind of goes like that. Like I have primers, concealers, foundation, which I decluttered, if you wanna see that video. Over here we've got like my bronzers, which I did a video on, I mean, I'm so, proud of like how much more organized it is. My blush drawer, now this was, you have to watch the video because that was a that was a project and I didn't do as good of a job at um, decluttering the blushes, but that's okay. Anyway, okay, on this side is where I've got displayed some of my like Natasha Denona palettes in here. I've got my Lisa Eldridge lipsticks up here, which I'm missing a couple. I, I, I don't have enough to fill up the whole lipstick set yet. <laughs> Um, but I like to keep Lisa Eldridge out here, which by the way, if you're wondering what lipstick I'm wearing, it's this one right here, Velvet Pompadour. It'll be linked down below for you if you want to know, because I feel like it's my new favorite pink. Anyway, I've got that. I've got some of my larger palettes here. And then if you saw my blush video, I set aside some really pretty blushes that I told you I wanted to display and make it look like a candy store. And so I tried to do that. These Rare Beauty ones actually don't fit very well into these lipstick holders, but you know, it's better than nothing and I actually thought it looked kind of cute. I've got my cute MAC blushes all lined up here. And then I have more Natasha Denona and Pat McGrath palettes on this side. And if you want to trade me places here and I'll show you this corner. So just like the other side, we have like little shelves to display things. And I've got some old PR kits that I just think are so beautiful. Some newer PR kits of lipsticks and then like little things from brands. This was from a couple of years ago, but I love this so much from, it was a Bobbi Brown holiday collection. It's a music box. <laughs> Isn't she cute? <laughs> I don't know, I'm a sucker for things like that. So I've just got a few of those types of things around here. I've got my Pat McGrath palettes lined up here, a lipstick collection, another Bobbi Brown collection. And then this wall is fun. A lot of people love this wall when they come into this beauty room because I feel like it's the, one of the first things you see besides my actual studio. And that is all my nail polishes. I paint my nails at home. I never get my nails done. I just, I love to paint them by myself. So. Um, 
I get a lot of use out of this wall. And I have it organized by a brand. So we've got Lights Lacquer, which they rebranded this year. So I've got their new packaging, which I think is so pretty. I've got a pretty good collection of that so far, but most of them are the older um, packaging, which I still have because I still use them. And then it goes into I Love Nail Polish or ILNP. They have the coolest like holographic sparkly polishes and so I haven't quite color coordinated all the ILMP because there's a lot so um, that one is a little more scattered. I try to color coordinate the rest so I've got Olive and June in color coordination I try and then this is Nails Ink which is another really good brand that I love all the way down here. So those are all my nail polishes. Um, I keep like my nail tools and things in the secret closet over there. So whenever I get around to doing a tour of that, you'll see more of like where I keep all the supplies for my nails and things like that. So then we wrap around here and we're back to the studio. Again, I'm going to be doing a more in-depth uh, video. Should I come in the light a little more? Yeah. I'll Wait. Trade you. Also, just a quick side note. The lights are facing this way because they swivel and turn, which we'll talk about in the next video, but that's why they're facing this way. Yeah, that's Tyler, my husband, behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> in case you're wondering whose voice that was. Your spooky friend. Spooky, spooky friend. And so that's the overview. Oh, I guess I could show you guys too. I haven't really organized this too, too much. Um, so it's still, neat. it's a work in progress. But I wanted to show you, like, I have my setting sprays that are high-end here. I have a lot of back stock products here as well, of things that, like, I, um, I like to have backups of. This is something that, like, everybody steals when they come here, so... You know, I gotta put the Thrive Mascara in a safe place because <laughs> otherwise friends and family is the first thing they take every time they come. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's the overview. I hope you guys enjoyed finally seeing a more full tour of my beauty room. Just in case you're wondering, this whole system was a custom set that we designed with a closet design company. So they do like custom closets and we called them up and they were able to kind of like make our vision come to life. So it was really, really fun to design this exact, you know, thing with, you know, these certain dimensions for my products and things like that. Yeah, so we kind of dreamt this up with a closet company, you know? And it ended up working out really well as, as a beauty room um, since that's not really something that is easy to find or create something for if you're just shopping around. So anyway, yeah, all the handles and hardware was handpicked by yours truly. And I love it. It's like my favorite space. It's my favorite room. It's my favorite place to come and create. I'm really excited to show you guys the more in-depth tour of my filming desk because I keep certain products over there on purpose and I can't wait to show you guys how, you know, the behind the scenes of my actual videos work. So stay tuned for that video, but I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the overview of my beauty room. And um, yeah, I am so happy that it's finally like clean enough and organized enough to be able to show you. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. If you wanna see the declutter videos that I did do, I will have the playlist down below. And stay tuned for my actual desk filming tour behind the scenes video. I'm really excited to show you guys um, how all that works as well. So I'll see you guys then. And I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are. And I'll see you in my next video. Love you. Whoa!